so upset. Missy, though, she's, she's about, she's a little over one years old. Um, let's see. So, kittens are seven months and nine months, 12 days, 13 days. It's November 9th, 2017. But, um, cat mama. She's semi-feral, and she um, she didn't. Uh, don't want to say she didn't like, but she wasn't friendly. She wasn't um, when she had when she was giving birth. She had the kittens, and so she was being a little protective cat mom and stuff like that. But she finally came around towards me, and uh, so I thank you, Misty. I'm giving the energy to the kittens, and now I'm giving giving energy to Cat Mama. And so Misty kind of feels like she's left out, but she's you know she's a good girl. She's she's helping take care of the kittens. Hi, huh, Misty. Oh, oh, she's mad. But I give them treats and stuff, and so I do my business. I do my do my my business during the day, which is paperwork. Here at the here in the apartment, and um, when I'm not doing business outside, and so it's always business. So this is the only time that I, you know, really get to. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm just looking at me like, why is Foster Papa talking to himself? Um, um, there he is. Then I get. Um, some fun time. Um, so, so this is only, this is my part, this is my, for me, this is, it's fun and something for me. Um, and I'm really enjoying what I'm doing now. So, I would have done it a long time ago, but it's just that the owners wouldn't let us have pets. And um, so, I had to just bend the, bend the rules and when they came in the right time as far as. Getting rescuing cat mom, which is natural handsome he is, and um, and um, so the owners of the building, so it's kind of so it kind of worked out, but um, um, let's see, I'm not gonna lie, it's not stressful, but it's it's definitely definitely a twenty four hour seven job because uh, you know I'm their butler and they. Cat Mama, Cat Mama, she's right here. Cat Mama. Um, they're kittens, and so they, you know, they're up during the night. I want to play, so I let them do that, and so I don't have. Uh, I don't want to lock them up in the kitchen, so um, 
you know, they get up, you know, they're up early, and so I get up early, I'm not really a morning person. Um, so I've made some sacrifices just for them, um, just to really have them and have that experience with them. Um, be able to buy them food, just toys and stuff like that. So I like and going to the food banks. I'm not rich. Um, so you know, but these are. This is to me like my treasure, and it's something that I, like I said, I really enjoy doing, and um, it's a part of me. It's part of who I am, and um, there's the there's the kid inside of me of just loving cats. And Guess that brings out the child in me, but um, the soft, softer side. But um, I love cats, so I'm just really honored and appreciated that I'm able to have this experience and able to do this now, and um, and hopefully find them good adoptable homes, or hopefully my situation can get better as I'm working on it, but. We're really be on the slow side. Um, with a lot of struggles and obstacles, but we'll overcome them. There's Sinatra. So tomorrow I'm supposed to go down to the um, at the Long Beach Animal Care Service having an orientation. So yesterday I took some videos the cats from the Adam Care Services in Long Beach City. And um, so I took videos of the cats that were available for adoption. Um, and that they're in the back. And so there's another, there, and then there's the, the I want to say it properly, but I'll just I'll write it down in the bio. The, the S N I O P A or whatever. Um, Front where they do adoption, so it's two different services, um, and so I, I gotta anyways. But I'll write I write the I'll write the info down in the bio where everything sounds more um, more clear. Um, but um, so the backup, so the, I wanna so I wanna volunteer, but they they require like a year of a of a, I guess a contract with them. For a year, and um, I don't mind doing it. It's just um, I'm, I'm probably just will probably do it. Um, but I'm also trying to get back to the hair salon. But that's a whole different. That's a whole different. I have my license, cosmetology license, but certified in California. But anyways, but it's something I want to do. So. Um, I think it would be a great experience, and I'm like, I'm so past overdue of doing something like that in my life. Um, there's Nancy, there's Sinatra. So, um, so you know, I'll most likely like on a Sunday or a Monday, um, I would like to do that. This, um, you know, at least take film, take video, and post it on Instagram. That's what I've been doing with the Carson shelters and the Downey Animal Shelter and what, else, what other shelter, uh, Ball, um, Baldwin Shelter, I believe. Um, so, but it's not really, I mean, it's helpful, you know, that we can share and tag and, um, and network. I think it's important, but, um, there, I don't think I spoke to some. I spoke to one of the coordinator coordinators at the Long Beach Animal Care Services. She was telling me that they, the person that was in charge of the Instagram page, is no longer there. So, and um, well, I was there yesterday. There was just two ladies, not 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 together, but in that half hour that I was in the cat facility. I'm gonna call it the cat condo um, adoption place. Was um, one lady was uh, she was bawling and she was crying. She was hysterical, and I asked her, "Well, why?" You know, I said to her, "Why are you, are you okay?" And you know, why are you crying? And she said, "Well, she was saying it's your own cat. 
who has one eye. She was gone all day, and the cat, she, she came home late at night. She came back home from whatever, and the cat was missing. So she was frantic, and she posted, you know, she told the neighbors, and they can't find the cat. So I'm sure the cat's hiding somewhere, but she thinks that somebody took the cat, and she's looking for it, and she's crying, and she's crying, and, you know, and I'm sure she'll find her cat. Um, so... In between that half an hour or 20 minutes that I was there, a second woman comes in, orderly lady, and she's saying that she's got a cat, and she's looking for her lost cat. So there's many lost pets. So, I, you know, I have no idea. And so she's looking for her cat, and um, she's and I ask her, are you okay? And she's like, she says, no, she's looking for her cat. And I, and I said, um, I said to her, well, um, what do you think you're doing? I'm like, oh, she's like, well, she, her neighbor, she, her neighbor, she said her neighbor's kind of, he doesn't like cats. He, it's a male, and he doesn't like cats. Most people do not like cats. Um, even though they have a great word, they get rid of their arms and stuff like that. And, uh, that energy, but, um, he doesn't like, the guy doesn't like cats for neighbor, so... She called him a weirdo, and I said, oh, God. And um, I just said, well, you know what? I'll tell you, you'll find her. Um, but she thinks that he could have done something to her. So, and that was just, that was just my, that was just like that one day that I was there, like less than a half an hour, all this just occurred in the animal shelter. So I can't really admit, I mean, so this probably, you know, this probably happens every day, so. Um, so they're close. They're close on. They're close on Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, it would have been perfect for me for a Monday, but I can probably do a Tuesday. You know, I'm sure you keep, um, it's just kind of far to get out there um, on a bus because there's only one bus that goes by there. And boy, it takes an hour, and I was, it was freezing cold, and it took an hour literally to go back, and, um, but I think it will be, I think it will be a great experience for me, something I've always wanted to do as a team, and, um, I didn't get a chance to do that as a teenager, so I'm going to do it now, and I don't think it's ever too late to help out, you know, and give back to, um, to something that you believe in. And, you know, and I, I believe in, you know, and I, I love Adam most. So, yeah. So, is that just, so I wouldn't just be assisting and helping out the Adam most. Like, um, the, the cats I'm saying, it would also be, um, also the dogs. Um, I'm not, I like dogs. Like, I don't discriminate. Like, I'm not in the most, like, oh, get away from me, you know, get away from me. I hate, you know. There's a lot of holes. I'm not that type of person, but I like dogs and I love dogs, but I'm, I'm not. I like the cute dogs, the cute ones. You know, I like anything that's cute. And um, as far as dogs that have bodyguards, they're, they're they're not for me. But anyways, there was a lot of pet bulls, stuff like that. But they were, you know, cute. they were adorable and they just wanted attention, so they were all barking and and there was this. I met this lady, um, Barn. Um, this Latina, Patricia, or no, Patricia, Patricia, yeah, Patricia Bertrand, no, Bar Bernice, or something like that. And anyway, she was really nice, and um, she was volunteering there, and I, so and, and so she then she took me to the she took me to um, she showed me kind of the ropes in there for like you know for almost like about an hour, and so she was really helpful, and um, and then we. Um, she took me to go see the bunnies, so they also have bunnies and the training area and this and that. How the system, how the system, the shelter, the, the animal shelter works, and and blah blah blah. And anyways, and um, and so she was really she was really resourceful and um, she was nice. And I asked her, well, how do you get here? And she says, um, she says that she gets she lives in downtown LA, and it takes her three hours just to get there. And so. For whatever reason, she's doing it. She loves. She's like, cause she loves animals. Um, 
so you know, uh, it's very thoughtful of her, but um, three hours she doesn't get paid, and I think she goes there like three times out of the week uh, from downtown LA, and she sucks. Supposedly she takes the bus. Now, I tried taking the bus to her, and I, I, I left early, and I had to wait for like an hour, and I, you know, but it, it was, um, there's no light, there's no light out there in the streets, really. Um, uh, I felt sort of safe, but I didn't feel like, you know, I was going to get robbed, but you just never know what could happen, and, you know, in a dark street, and so, um, so then there also, and then there was, so there was, a, so there was a cat, there was a side of the cats that were known to be, that were, that were semi, that were healthy and semi-healthy, that were in treatment, and uh, there were kittens, and there were, you know, cats, and um, supposedly stray, definitely not stray, as I posted on Instagram, most of those cats were not stray, you know. I think they're just, you know, they're just scared because they're in the shelter and they don't, you know, they're nervous and stuff like that. So anyways, um, and then, um, then there's the kitty, the, then there's the kitty section where they need to be bottle fed. And, um, and so there's a lot of kittens and so people really need to spray and neuter their cats and dogs. Um, so just seeing that kind of was just overwhelming in a sense we're like wow you know you know they need more help you know and these, these cats these kittens and or these the, pup, the puppies need help and there's not i don't think there's not enough people doing it um um she said barney's um barney's did, did say that she um that She's seen more volunteers on the weekends, and you know the you know the younger you know the younger uh, kids or you know teenagers or what you know whatever and whatnot. So, um, so if I can just probably not do the weekends and just probably do the during the weekday would probably be best. Um, as far as bottle feeding, I have already these kittens, and um, I mean. Um, I need to get back to the hair salon, but um, you know, it's I can't help it. I can probably bottle feed one, but it's, it's a lot of work. But it's so worth. At the end, it's just so rewarding to see um, to see them healthy and growing, and just you know. And then the good thing about that is that yeah, I can take them back, and they can go up for adoption. So you know, so right now I'm kind of stuck in a limbo because. Really have no one to help me, and I just kind of did this on my own, um, you know. So I'm not surprised, and um, so um, and then the other thing I wanted to say was is another. So there was so that was the second department with the kittens that are, you know, that needed bottle feeding, and there were a lot, and then there was another section where it was um, where there were these sick cat look like kittens and cats um, really really young and um, they were in the room and you you can enter the room I didn't want to enter the room because I have these kittens here but you can enter the room with gloves on and and a mask and stuff like that and so I need more info she gave me some info but I you know um, anyways but I don't even I don't know if they can euthanize if they don't get adopted or um, I, I need to get more information about it but definitely I have to go in there and see them and see and check them out but some of them were like injured like they were they were injured by cruelty so they had like broke you know bro um, they have um, broken bones or or they were uh, abused by by people and so it's more they were more severe and some of them did, some of them didn't look like you know I I wasn't in there but from what I can see didn't look like um, from once you know the one or two that I can tell it didn't you know look really sweet I couldn't see what why they would be in there but um, um so that and so then that so yeah so that part was um, 
not disturbing, but just um, I want to know the truth. Like I want to know more. Like I just want to know more. Like what really is what really is the situation, and um, you know, um, hopefully they don't get you know get, um, get denied. Um, so there weren't ho there weren't a lot of cats at the animal care and Long Beach services. Uh, I mean, there were a lot of cats, but there weren't like a lot, like um, like there's um, like the Devore Animal Shelter in San Bernardino County. So, um, uh, you know, so there was there's no space for other cats to go into those kitty condos to you know for adoption, but um. This is all in the back, and then there's the front side, which I'll put in the bio later. But on the front, I don't really, you know, they have one like in the Oasis, and um, I'm not sure if it's, or if it's a nonprofit organization, so I'll put that on a later day on my bio. And um, so, yeah, so, um, so I and the orientation is at six p.m. that night. So I don't. That's pretty late. Um, not late, but it's late for me because I don't like. I, I don't have a car transportation. So it's like, you know, what time? You know, how long does orientation be? And then if there if there will be a bus, and then who knows? And then you know, I have to wait an hour. So it's like I only get in there for like, you know, eleven, and I just don't feel safe. Transportations here in Long Beach are not uh, safe, um, especially for a dumb my age. Um, so, so we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I can. I'll try to make it, but I don't see if I can stay. For, I don't know if I'll be able to stay for two hours. I don't know how long it is, but. I can probably take a look back. And so, and then I'm sorry, not science of addiction, because it gets fake. I like to pretend my consciousness knows it's for her, and it gets fake. Um, and so I call it the Golden State Youth Society. Taking other cats um, there, and I have no um, no complaints. Um, they were all alive and uh, neutered, so uh, so no infections, no pains. So, um, but we had a. a and I called and apologized and um, but um, I don't really hear her Nancy and she's been you know, she wasn't the healthiest and she was she didn't give up and I didn't give up and uh, so she was sick for she was sick for since a kitten to uh, two months So that wasn't easy, and, um, and so I, I don't want to do that to her, so I'm really concerned. So, um, so, um, I had someone was interested in Sassy. One of my, one of my girls, I did her hair, 
and she wasn't sassy. And um, but s sassy likes to use your boss, and um, and so when I'm wearing pants, I cannot wear pants. So when I'm wearing pants, um, she'll she'll climb on me like on the tree. So she's been doing that since the kid, and I and I spray her with some water and. She'll come in, you know, she'll, you know, she'll, she'll jump and then she'll come back and it's the same thing. But, um, but because I'm a guy, I really want to, you know, I, I really don't care, but I feel like, you know, she lives in Hollywood and she, you know, she dresses up or whatever and the only little scratch and that might be the end of Sassy. So, I, and I fell in love with Sassy, so I have to keep her. So, just to keep her. And I didn't, so, and so this is Sassy right right here, and then I had Sinatra. Someone had um, I put her in my rescue me dot org during the uh, Pink for Halloween, for Green Day for Halloween, and um, somebody just finally responded in early November, and um, she lived in Santa Monica, and um, I think it would have worked out because Sinatra. Sinatra likes to, um, it's kind of, he's kind of like a, well, for Siamese twins, he's gonna act so weird in any way. I like the little puppies and doggies. They're just cute. They look like cats, and they behave like cats. So it's, a, it, so it's like, so it's a lot of work for me. It's my first time dealing with that. Those adorable Siamese kittens. Mm -hmm. Sinatra. And so, um, so they expect their walks in the mornings. But anyways, um, people outside. So Sinatra, um, so they inquire Sinatra and um, I think that I was asking, I was asking for a hundred dollars only because um, you know that to me is, it's kind of like okay you're interested and you're serious, you want to sign this cat him and he's healthy, he's made good egg for my buddy and he can do the chemo thing and which is great. And um, and so um, and so they're like my they're like my you know, they're like my children, I just can't let them go for free. But um, she would have just more you know, I would have had the other one that would have gone, you know, and I have a blind kitten. So I don't want to let go of Sinatra because Sinatra and Sasha should be together. So anyway, so she saw the Instagram pictures and she was like, well, you know, I can see who's sassy and that, you know, so they're together. And, but, you know, um, I just, you know, I like to see them in the garden and stuff like that. You know, like they play with these all over the, the little dogs and she had, she had, she and her, I believe her husband had a dog too, but her Siamese cats had passed away. Um, so, um, and I didn't want, so I wanted to keep Sinatra and Sassy, and, um, and then Gingerbread, this one, you know, he would have been, he would have been easy to get adopted if he wasn't blind, so it's kind of like, I'm in a situation where I just, if there's nobody else here besides me and kittens, and I have to deal with other matters, um, like adult, you know, handling other matters. Um, and so, um, I can't really, so now I'm, spec is not the word, is it, I don't, I can't find a word for it right now. So hopefully you can just get over it, just get better and the situation will get better for the for the, for the cats. Um, I don't want them in the shelters and I don't want them to, you know, to serve anybody. So um, I'm taking, you know, I'm taking the baby with me and I'm taking good care of them. And I'm going to the key banks in the morning just to let them.
play. Looks tough. So sacrifices. And um, I will sip it, it's okay. So when I get ready, so when I'm out of the shower and I open the door, you know, like sassy me already stretches me out and it's time for walks. It's time for him to kick me on. It's a natural, so sassy does it, it's a natural sense so here during him. So he's stretching me out and so it's time for him to go outside. So and I'm not used to, I'm not, I'm not used to that. Um, so I, uh, another person outside and then just, you know, it's just like that, like, I, I, you know, like, I need my coffee and everything, and, and I, I, I went to take care of things, like, in a computer first and stuff like that, um, so, um, so I'm just real patient, so, and so we do it, so we just do it, and we go out there and we do it five minutes or, you know, ten seconds. She's very impatient. She wants everything her way now. And, um, and so, and, um, so yeah, so we got, so you know, that's my routine. So I don't, uh, you know, I always had cats and never had a dog. I think we, I had, we had. Husky and um, and Blue, and he was all white with blue eyes. <sighs> Whew, that was a great animal. He was a gorgeous dog, and um, he passed away. Um, I looked in his eyes, I looked in my eye, I looked in, I looked into his blue eyes, I looked into my brown eyes, and. Um, Turn around and I never saw him again. And that's what happened to him. He said he passed away. The irony. That's a good sad story. And 
And so then the main guy came in and wanted to know why she was like pretty much crying. So so she went and got her own room one of these little like off my address. I always had a dress. I was always upgrading to a bigger and bigger dress. Um So, then I had cats in my camp on So then I had cats in my twenties. Um, and I can't remember if it was chocolate. We got her at the uh, South Central Avenue Watch Shelter. She was all white with blue eyes. She had some TLC in her hair. And uh, she was a little older. Two weeks old, and we had him in the car. We had Tigger to pick up. And uh, the um, West LA. Thanks. Anyways. So then, so then I didn't have cats for like 10, almost like a decade for 10 years. So now it was over. I had cats in my head again. And um, now I have a dress, a small dress, but. Um,
I'm not sure on this, but she just keeps chasing Catmon on bullying or something. Please don't let him on real quick. Let's see, we can enter soon now. I'm not going to let him on after this, so. Okay, let's just let him on this video over. I'm just giving it due respect for being in the area and not like any abruptly. That's an intro. That's an intro we have water and <laughs> yeah, we get to push air and we can play and So when we're outside, she'll like she'll be like oh, she said are you the other thing? Like you know, if she had her hair, she would probably be out there for you know eight hours. Um, she's not stayed yet, and um, even if she were to be stayed, I would try to get out there unsupervised. Um, so. Then at night, temperature break on some of the sort of games wise, uh, it's not until a deep sleep, but then there's like, I'll have Misty between my legs, if that Misty, there will, it's Cat Mama, or Sassy, or some natural things that will take up on me, so, um, so I'm, I'm pretty much, um, you know, it's a, I sleep in a twin size bed, so, um, and I'm in my own room, so, so if I sound if I sound tired or you know, just kind of dull, it's because I don't know how I am. I don't know how I'm so um, so yeah, now I'm gonna be up early in the morning. So it's like oh, there we go. Well means my cat and my cats are out.